you're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Together with Amy Malloy, we use every Thursday to chat all about you, with mood-boosting tips to feel like your best self. If you joined us last night, you'll know it's National Be a Millionaire Day. It's not as obnoxious as it sounds, actually. The annual day is all about making good money decisions. Letting yourself imagine your wildest money dreams. So, let's get into it. In previous episodes, we've talked about getting hung up on old money stories. Things like, oh, I'll never have that much money. My friend won't like me if I make more than them. You can't make money after having kids. Rip up those stories. They can't do anything but hurt you. So what can we focus on instead? Lynn Twist, the author of the book, The Soul of Money, has a simple go-to. What you appreciate, appreciates. Let's say that again. What you appreciate, appreciates, baby. It's true in our money culture, says Lynn. A desirable house in a desirable neighbourhood appreciates in value year after year. So, let's make it true in our own personal relationships. When we appreciate someone's qualities, they grow even more likeable. It can also relate to our own success. If you concentrate on the ability you have to be successful and the parts of the work you enjoy, then your appreciation will appreciate. Example, make money money. At the very least, it can make us more resilient and boost our morale levels. Instead of focusing on what you don't have or can't do, count up what you can do and can achieve. Here's how we can put that into practice. Step one. Before you log on to your job each day, ramp up your gratitude. Think of one thing about your job that you really enjoy. It doesn't have to be spreadsheets or sitting in long meetings. It might be the coffee you get on your lunch break. Get into the habit of seeking out the diamonds, even if your day does look like a dirt pile. Step two, own your pay cut, particularly if it wasn't technically your decision. We tend to place our value on how much money we're making, and truthfully, we could probably all make more money. You know, if we worked 24 hours, had two jobs and never saw our loved ones. But we decide not to. If you're currently earning less than you used to, then own that decision. Go you. Discover your limits. You changed your priorities. Get out of the martyr mindset and be freaking proud of your salary. Whatever it is. Step three. Give money, make money. If you've been listening to the space for a while, you'll know the word detachment. The moment we get attached to a wage a job or a person, we become miserable. We're instantly afraid that we'll lose it or them. Yes, this episode is all about becoming a millionaire, but we also want you to be uplifted and loaded. Don't obsess about a number. Release your grip on an outcome. Give your time generously. Heck, buy a stranger a coffee. You'll be the happiest millionaire around. You've been listening to The Space with me, Casey Donovan. If you want to get more confident about your money and your finances, we've got a podcast that's just for you. It's called Small Change. Find it in your favourite podcast app. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the space underscore podcast for more tips and tricks like this one. We're back tonight with another mood-soothing topic. 
let's call out our anxiety together. Space out. <laughs>